In today's XT250 video, we're going to be looking at the Happy Trails SU top rack and grab handles. This combination allows us to mount the SU racks and hard luggage or soft luggage to our XT250. The kit comes with everything you need to mount the grab handles and top rack to your XT250. And it even comes with a semi-detailed black and white instruction sheet on how to install it. A secondary sheet contains all of the information in terms of hardware that should have came with your packaging. To start off and make the installation a little easier, we're going to remove the heat shield off of the XC250's exhaust pipe. It should just lift up and out of the way after you remove those four screws. Removing the grab handles is easy, you just have to use a long socket and remove the two bolts that hold the grab handle onto the subframe. Depending on the depth of the installation that you're doing on your particular bike, you may not need to do some of the steps in this video. For example, I'm going with the entire SU rack system, so I will have to relocate and remove, remove the turn signals on my bike. This is a step that you may not have to do, but I have to do it later on, so I did it right now in the video. Removal of the other grab handles is the same as the uh, previous one, with just two bolts holding the grab handle to the subframe. This is another step that's optional for you if you are just installing the grab handles and top rack. I'm removing the seat so I have access to the electronics uh, of the bike, specifically the turn signals and their switches. Removing the side panel is easy, all you have to do is remove one bolt and one snap. I went ahead and labeled the wires that corresponded to each turn signal using blue painter's tape. This way, if there's any confusion when uh, coming back to the project, I would know which turn signals went to which uh, wiring. This little step might help you out in the long run. Removing the turn signals from the bike is pretty easy. You just have to slip the dust boot and the retaining nut off of the wire so you can pull the turn signal and cable out, out of the bracket. Installation of the Happy Trails grab handles is surprisingly simple. You use the factory nuts that are welded onto the subframe and you use Happy Trails supplied hardware to mount the grab handles onto the bike. Each Allen head bolt should have a corresponding washer and nylock backing nut. When you're tightening all the hardware, you want to make sure that if you do tighten them, you back them far enough off so that they're still loose for assembly. This way you build and play when you add multiple pieces later on in the build. Installation of the grab handles is the same on the opposite side of the bike and once again you just want to make sure that you keep all, all bolts and hardware loose. Installation of the top rack is easy when you get the grab handles mounted. You have two positions in which to choose where to mount the racks. You can either have it set further back or further forward. Since I'm adding the SU rack system, 
you have to use the first and third bolt for the top rack. Just as with mounting the grab handles, you want to make sure that all of your hardware stays loose but still stays on the bike so you can tighten it later. Fitment varies from bike to bike, so that's why you want to keep your hardware loose and you might need to use a little bit of persuasion when it comes to fitting some of the hardware into the factory drilled holes. When you're satisfied with the position of the top rack on the grab handles, you can go ahead and tighten all of the hardware down. I went ahead and used a ratcheting wrench with an Allen head socket uh, just to speed things up. Uh, and really, it, the tools that you use are up to you. You can use a, just a standard Allen key, but the ratcheting wrench does move things a bit faster. And of course, as I said earlier, this is just step one in the many part process of installing hard luggage onto the XT250. But at this point, if you're just doing the grab handles and the top rack, you're pretty much done. And now you have a solid platform by which to strap luggage or add a Rotopax on top of if you purchase the Rotopax adapter plate. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video in the Happy Trails sponsored series.